All right, here's Sean again with Baylor Parts. Um, we're working on the 24T. We got the pins out and we pulled the springs out. And I used a little hook tool here from, uh, oh, from Mac, I think it is. And uh, you just need a little hook tool to pull those springs out, out of them holes right here. You know, you reach down in, and yank them out. And here's our pins. I mean, they're pretty rusty. We're gonna clean them up. But like I said, you can make these out of grade eight bolts cut the threads off and the head off the bolt so you got just the smooth part of the shank of the bolt and then put it back into the holes and what we have here is the new springs i get them at the local hardware store they're a lot heavier and they push the pins out a lot quicker i like them and here's the size of them for all of you guys out there it's a c706 it's a 9 16 by 3 8 by 0.72 it's a utility compression spring I mean, we get these at the local hardware store, but as long as you get those dimensions, you'll be, you'll be in pretty good shape. And uh, we're gonna, the holes, if you can't get the pins out, I'll turn this around. You'll see on the back side here, see this little hole? That's made for a small punch. And you could usually use it, oh, well, there's a little too big, but you could use a small punch from the back and you see it clean the hole out the bugs like the build in there and uh, during the season you can oil that in there and both sides have it As you can see down here is another one and you use a drift and you can knock out those these pins right here by not putting a punch in there um, but like I said I recommend cleaning these up new springs when you put the right now we got the clutch off it we're gonna clean that up take that apart and clean it uh, check your splines put your clutch back on when you put this piece back onto here There's some shims that we're uh, now making to put on the front to go against this collar To hold that clutch hold this overrun clutch unit closer to the face of that clutch right there And you can see what happens When the pins get weak springs they start chewing like grooves like they try making a ramp out of that You can see it right here And this one here see it's still nice and sharp but it usually starts to happen when you get one pin doing all the work and the second pin isn't out. Uh, just by us fixing this, we're gonna, this is going to correct most of all this problem. And uh, I usually lubricate these little slides because when it overruns, when you shut your PTO off, this clutch goes backwards. And it's kind of nice to have a little lubrication on there for those pins to go back and forth on. If you have any other questions, give us a call, 607-846-5959. Thank you.